slave of fear. And with an affliction, in a dream of passion, could force her soul so to roll constant. From her work, all her visage pale. Tears in her eyes, distraction in her aspect, a broken voice, and her whole function suiting to form to her conceit. What would she do if she had the motive or pupil passion that I have? She would drown the state with tears, or cleave the general ear with horrid speech. They met the guilty and uphold the free, confound the ignorant and amaze in these very faculties of eyes and ears. <coughs> and I, a dull and mud meted rascal, peak like John and Reeves can say nothing. No, not for a king to pull the most dear life but damn this feet was made. But by a coward, who calls me villain, breaks my face across, plucks me by the beard and blows in my face, twists me by the nose, gives me the lie in the throat that's deep as the lungs. Who does me this? I shall take it. If I am teaching living and life to all to make a fresh better. Or else I shall fuck it all the regions kite with the slaves off. Bloody bloody villain. Son of a dear father murdered, prompted my revenge by heaven and hell, must like a whore, unpack my words and boy casting like a very trap. Find them on fire of my brain. I have heard. Guilty creatures, sitting at a play, have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul. Presently they have proclaimed their malefactions. For man, though it have no tongue, speaks with the most miraculous organ. I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before my uncle. Even Blanche, I know my corpse. The spirit I have seen may be the devil, and the devil have power to assume a bleeding shape death. Yet out of my weakness and my melancholy, he abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. 